Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are designing this responsive home page using Figma. And in the previous video, we created the component for this testimonial card over here. So if you go to our Figma file, we can see that we have this testimonial component over here. And this is how it looks. We can see that there are two variants over here, one for mobile version and one for desktop. All right, now in this video, we'll create the component for this course card over here. So we need to have this image, we need to have this text and also this duration over here. So we'll create a component for this course card so that we can reuse it. So let's get started. All right, let me just delete this instance of this component over here. And let's start creating the component for the course card. So the first thing I will do is I'll just create a rectangle and we will add an image inside this. So I'll just increase the width and the height over here. Let's set the width to 430 pixels and we will set the height to 260 pixels and now let's also add a border radius so I'll just change this value to 24 All right now let's add an image inside this rectangle so I already have a plugin installed in Figma called Pixels so I'll just right click over here and go to plugins and click on Pixels now if you don't have this plugin installed you can go over here to browse plugins in community and just install it from there All right let's go over here to Pixels and uh, let's search for game and let's search for an image over here I think we'll just add this image right here or right, now we can see we have this image inside our rectangle now let's also add a little bit of drop shadow so let's click on this uh, rectangle and let's go over here to effects and click on plus and here in the effect settings let's change some settings over here so I think uh, we will set the Y value to I think 4 looks alright and we'll just increase the blur a little bit and I think that looks alright and uh, let's keep it at that alright now let's add the title of this course so let's click on this uh, text button and I'll just add a title I'll just type game design essentials so I'll just type game design essentials and let's change the font style to black and I'll just change the color to the dark color that we have in our website so I'll just select this color right here let's also set the line height to 150 percent so I'll just change this to 150 percent and now if we type another line of text we can see that we have this line height All right now the next thing we will do is we'll create this uh, duration over here so I'll just duplicate this by pressing alt and dragging it down and here I'll just type 8 hours and I'll just change the font size to 16 pixels and let's also add the icon of clock over here so I'll just right click over here and uh, go to plugins and uh, I'll just select hero icons and let's search for clock and here we can see the clock icon so I'll just drag it down here and let's also change the color to this dark color over here now we can see this clock is outside this frame so let's bring it inside Right, I think this looks alright so I'll just select both of this and uh, let's right click over here and uh, click on add auto layout and let's go over here to alignment and padding and uh, let's set it to center right now let's uh, bring this title over here to the left and uh, now let's make both of this an auto layout so I'll just select both of this and uh, let's right click over here and click on add auto layout and let's go over here and click on center now the next thing we will do is we will set a fixed width for this frame so I'll just select this and I'll just change this to title and duration or right, now if we type some value over here we can see that the width increases we don't want that to happen so let's select this text layer and let's go over here to resizing and I'll just change this to fill container now it will fill according to the container size so if I just add some text over here we can see that it goes to the next line All right, now let's set the space between these two items to 16 so right now we have a space of 22 so let's select this uh, title and duration frame and I'll just change this to 16 pixels All right, now we can see we have a space of 16 pixels and even if we increase the width of this frame we will still have a space of 16 pixels over here or right, now the next thing we will do is we'll create a rectangle for this border bottom over here 
So for that, let's go ahead and uh, let's add a rectangle. So I'll just click on rectangle and I'll just create a rectangle and we'll just set the height to eight pixels. And let's increase the width over here. And we will set the color of this rectangle to the dark color. And we'll also add a border radius over here. So I'll just type 24. Right now let's select all of this and let's create an auto layout. So I'll just make some adjustments over here. So here between these two elements, we will have a space of, I think 24 pixels looks all right. And I'll just increase the width of the image over here. Right now let's select all of this and let's right click over here and click on add auto layout. Or right, we will also increase the width of this rectangle over here. Right now let's change the background color of this frame to white. Before that, let's change this name to course and let's go over here to fill and we'll click on plus. And let's also add a border radius of 24 pixels. And let's also add some padding to the left and the right. So let's click on this alignment and padding. And for left and right, we'll set a padding of 32. All right, that's pretty much it with the course card. All right now let's increase the width and let's see what happens. And we can see that uh, the width of these elements are the same. Now we want the width of the image and also this uh, rectangle over here to change width based on uh, the frame. So let's undo this and uh, let's click on this image. And here instead of fixed width, let's set it to fill container. And let's also select this rectangle. And here also we'll set it to fill container. And we'll also select this frame over here for title and duration. And here also we'll set the width to fill container. Right now let's see what happens. And we can see everything works all right. So there's no problems in our course card. And if we add some more text over here, let's see what happens. So everything works all right. So that's it with the course card. Now let's make it a component so that we can reuse it. And we also want to have a variant for the mobile version. So let's click on this button called create component. All right now let's go over here to variants and let's click on new variant. And this variant is for the mobile version. So for the mobile version, we will set a height of 240 pixels. And for the title, we will change the font size to 24 pixels. All right, that's it for the mobile version. Now let's rename the property. So let's click on this uh, component. And here, instead of property one, I'll just type platform. And here for the first variant, I'll just change uh, the platform to desktop. And for the second variant, I'll just change this to mobile. All right, now let's test it out. So let's go over here to assets. And uh, let's drag this uh, course card over here and we can see everything works all right and if we increase or decrease the width there's no problem and let's select the mobile version and it also works all right there's no problem so that's it with the course component and with that we have created all the components that we need for our website now from the next video we will start designing the home page so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.